talk about hospice. You know, hospice volunteers step into a person's life really during one of their most vulnerable moments. And in honor of National Volunteer Week, Hospice of Michigan and Arbor Hospice are celebrating their dedicated volunteers and everything that they do to deliver compassionate care for patients and for families really all across our area. So who better to speak about it than Allison Wagner, the Director of Volunteering for Hospice of Michigan. Thanks for coming in this morning. Thanks so much for having me. So let's talk about volunteers. I know there's probably not a typical day, but if you could describe maybe an average day of a volunteer, what would it be like? Sure. Well, you know, our volunteers do so many things to meet the needs of our patients and families. It can be anything like reading to a patient, maybe watching TV. It could be playing music or visiting a patient with their pet. Hmm. So what makes a good hospice volunteer? You know, really, it's something very basic but something so important to all of us a compassionate heart and somebody who wants to give back to their community and in a time in which many of us have been disconnected for a couple of years from maybe in person connecting with members of our community that's what our volunteers do and they get so much out of it and our patients and families get just as much back so if this is something somebody wants to pursue, uh, how do they get involved? Who do they see? Yeah, um, so they can go to our website. That's the easiest thing to do. Go to HOM.org. Um, there's a section that says get involved. There they can learn about all the different ways that volunteers can contribute. It's really about how do you want to give back to your community and seeing if we can find a match for that. Uh, are there like time commitments or can you kind of make your own schedule you work yeah. around them? Yeah, you know, um, volunteers can give in the way that they want to with their time. We are most in need of people who are available during the weekday and during the day. That's where our patients are really in need of some visits right now. Yeah, and you mentioned a couple of different ways of giving back. If someone wants to help out but can't volunteer, are there other ways you can help? Yeah, absolutely. There are ways to get involved even in just single volunteering, like volunteering for our upcoming events. We have our barbecue barley and beets events coming up here in southeastern Michigan. They can come and check out and learn about our mission and just contribute and volunteer for that day. Okay, barbecue, I got a feeling I know what it is. Be, uh, the, 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 the uh, you know, beats, well, how's that going to get in Well, there? we have live music that oh, will be that playing. Kind of yeah, beat. Yeah, of red beats. <laughs> yes, I was yeah. thinking of red beats. I was like, how's that fit in there? Interesting. That makes much Chris more sense Chris is thinking about me. breakfast. That's so right. Well, that's I right. understand. Yeah. Food's always on the mind. Is there a website uh, you'd like people to visit? Absolutely, HOM.org for Hospice of Michigan.org. All right, Beats, I got it now. Beats, you get it? Yeah. Allison, right. thanks a lot for coming in. Thanks so much. We appreciate it.